Hello and welcome, my name is Turner Chico, and today we are going to be doing a lighting diagram of this image. Now this image was made by Kyle Miller and I got it from Pexels, and it is of a really beautiful arched walkway. Um, I really like how dark this image is, and when I saw it, I kind of was thinking, you know, you could have a scene where somebody's walking through this, it could be a walk and talk, it could be locked off, and the character could be walking towards the camera. But what really interested me was the walkway having these windows on the side and those allowing the light to come in and kind of strobe across the actor's face as they walk through the scene. Um, so let's get the image imported into Drawio. If you are unfamiliar with using Drawio for lighting diagrams, I think this is a really awesome diagramming tool and I actually built a free tool set um, as a template um, for various lighting equipment and uh, modifiers so that I could just really quickly do these and not have to build them each time. If you want that template, it's for free available on my Patreon. There's going to be a link down below. And if you've not seen any of my videos doing this before, I have a few other ones. Um, a lot of them I show how to import the images and import the template and that kind of stuff. Um, you can see that kind of how-to information also in a video down in the video's description. Today, we already have everything loaded in here so that we can get started right away. Okay, so as always, I'm going to take a look at the image and note some things that I want to focus on in doing the recreation via the diagram. First off, as I had said, these window slits on the side are really cool because they create a wonderful light all across the floor. And you can see that it kind of creates this V pattern. So there's these kind of two sources. Um, they do cast onto the wall on the other side just a little bit, but I am just so interested in how we can create multiple of these slits to create that strobing as an actor walks through. Now, good things to notice are uh, we have these practicals in here. Now, those probably could have film bulbs put into them if we have a whole lockdown set. Otherwise, they're just going to boost the exposure a little bit and then probably making not even an actual dent at all on a cinematic type lighting. Um, we do have these lights up here in the ceiling. Now, one thing about this image overall is that in the tunnel itself, it's pretty dark but the bricks are just about the right exposure, maybe slightly under. So if we're gonna be using a zone system, if we put those bricks in a proper exposure level, then we should be getting pretty actually accurate skin tones. So the visual we will be creating will be that in between the window lights, we'll have them in a pretty significant amount of darkness, maybe just exposed a little bit from these practicals. Now, when they step into the shaft of light, they'll be properly exposed. So we'll get this light, dark, light, dark pattern as they walk. I'm imagining this mostly as a walk and talk or a steady cam shot of having them walk and not talk, maybe with some aggressive pacing. And we have that rhythmic boom, 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 boom of the light, dark, light, dark as they move towards the next scene. Um, that is just how I imagined this and how I want to try to design the lighting for a shot um, and see what we can do. Um, one other thing to note here is that we can get maybe if we had this set actually locked off, we can maybe get actual access to the beams up here to hang our own additional space lights, um, depending on the exposure level we're getting. But we're going to focus at least right now on how to get that light coming from these windows off to the side. Now this one, because of the size of the location, the scale required, is probably going to be a little bit less of a budget lighting diagram. Although if you are in the right time of day, you could do this type of shot with sunlight. Absolutely, 100%, you could do it with sunlight. Um, if you wanna have more control over it, that's what we're talking about today in terms of building a cinematic image through the lighting and the tone that we need for the story that we're telling. So let's just get started by making a hallway. Um, as usual, I'm gonna go to the floor plan tools and start building. Okay, so we see one, two, three, four, five windows. We have one, two, three, four, five windows. And if we have an actor and they're going to be walking, you know, down the hallway. We do want to get this double kind of V-shape light here. I think that looks really cool and it will add a little bit more dynamics to that pattern. Now, we could just do lights straight across 
Um, but for this, I'm going to start with just having Fresnel based lamps. We want that to be a hard light because that's going to be helping us cut across here. When we look at these shadows, they're not incredibly hard, so we can use some diffusion as you see what I'm building here. Um, that would make it so that our lights do have a little bit of that edge taken off of them as they cast into this walkway. However, we don't want them to be super soft. We want that really hard light to pass across the subject's face as they walk through. So I'm not going to put this really right up here, which would soften it out. I'm going to leave it right next to the light just to soften it a little bit. Um, so then let's just take a look at the kind of light paths we would be able to create with this. Now, essentially, by passing the light through, the, through this window, the window is the new source almost. So we're going to kind of put our light paths like this to imagine what that would look like. Now we want to bring our actor to the front. And we're having that diffusion further back towards the light because the further away your light source is, the harder the light will be or you know remain in this case. Now, this is just one way to do it. This is if you don't need those shadows to be super, super sharp. Now, I will say, I like them to be sharper. So this is kind of our first idea for how to accomplish this. But there are, like in most things with filmmaking, several different options that we could do that would all be reasonable and effective and have slight differences between them for different kinds of storytelling requirements. So in my other option, I'm going to take away this diffusion and I'm going to have these all be Fresnel based lamps. Now, if they're Fresnel lamps, we get a lot more control over how those shadows look because we can focus the light through the actual window and we can make it a little bit harder, make it a little bit softer, but have a little bit more control over that as it passes through between the bricks. Now, this is still if we're just doing it as a single shaft coming through. But like we said, there are these interesting V-shaped patterns. Now, I have a theory that that's probably with how the window is constructed is what's actually creating that shape. But I want to try to do that under our own control. Now this one is going to get expensive because for every single one of these, we are going to actually double in terms of our lighting and the Fresnels. Now, if you have to attach your own Fresnels, I'm sorry about that <laughs> because it will get much more expensive. And by doing this, we get to guarantee that V-shaped double light streak because I think it's really gorgeous. And if it's something where it's a really high tension scene and we really want that pace to feel through the images like it's accelerating, then as they walk, you will get twice as many strobes here as you would from this kind of setup and this kind. Of, and as the character walks, they will get twice as many strobes from this setup as it would for either of these setups. Now, this harder light one in the middle is going to be a little bit less money. It's going to get you good strobes. It is going to be a little bit more of an intense light look. Now, this diffusion one, if you're doing something that doesn't need a huge amount of tension, maybe this one is the right one for you. If you need a little more tension, maybe this one. If you want to have something that feels really intense and you're gonna do that by having more of that strobing effect between the light and the dark, then this one would be what's right for you as opposed to either of these where you will have half as many strobes. The middle option here will have harder shadows and the option on the right here will have softer shadows and those are different ways you can do similar lighting setups with all the same location and get very different feels from it in terms of your image i mean this is not even going into is it a steady camp shot is a locked off shot is it a walk and talk with two people and they're just having a conversation and so you needed something that's more of a naturalistic lighting or is it somebody who's on the way to some big important meeting and you want the pace to feel sky high, the tension to be just be cuttable, maybe this one is the best one for you. There's just so many different ways. Now, the one thing I'd worry about is, are these practicals going to be enough to light in between? 
and how can we use color tone to actually change it as well because this light coming in is daylight and it's going to be more of a blue hue so let's say we actually want to work with those lamps that are up there we can change them out to be film bulbs we want to at least consider them there's a whole bunch of different things you can do if you have access to this location you could use those beams to hang your own space lights but let's have it be that in between in the more shadowed sections it's an orange light to contrast with the bluer light coming in from the simulated sun of those windows to do that we can grab some lanterns or space lights let's just say we'll place them where those lights would be actually as practicals from the environment and the location that we're working with if that's what you have that's what we can work with and we can acknowledge that's more those are more of a tungsten hue and they'll be creating some color contrast when used opposite of the more blue daylight balanced lights coming through that window now the, these here are to represent the lights that are actually in the scene here but I think that we could use those beams to put our own there and then that way you could really dial in that tungsten hue if you want it more or less um, and make sure that you have the control and the flexibility of your image now that like I said requires you having this whole location that you know if we're doing this big setup here we're talking one two three four five six seven eight nine ten lamps just for the outside part plus another five for the inside um, if that's what you're doing as opposed to using the ones that are built in there or in addition to those ones that are built in now this also changes is if you're going to have the frame c up above if you're going to have the frame c into this area once we're this far back down the hallway then what you would actually want to do is rig those lanterns and those space lights up even higher up here to use these lights as motivation for that color and that exposure there's so many different things that you can do i'm just always fascinated by the different approaches you can take the different images that you can create how the visuals are going to be cutting together because keep in mind we are looking at a still image here as i described when i started this lesson you could have this be a steady cam shot where the char character is walking towards the camera and we are seeing that strobing across their face that is a three-dimensional moving image that's what movies are and so we're having to think about these details and how this diagram will work for something that would eventually be a moving image and i think that just is one of the things i'm most passionate about when creating any sort of cinematography diagram uh pre-production planning because it's where you get to kickstart your imagination into figuring out how these things are going to look and how you're going to achieve them so to summarize everything we have talked a couple different options here the first off here is much more of a naturalistic look we are using the lanterns that are in place on the location these ones that are hanging right there and from outside of the walkway we are casting light through a sheet of diffusion for each of the individual windows you could achieve this with a c stand and a silk for each one of these lights a smaller silk or something like a 4x4 four four or a 6x6 six six. it really depends on how soft you want that light to be um, you can move this forward or back to control that sharpness of the shadows as well but if you want something really simple you can do it just like this to get a more naturalistic look with that diffusion if you want something where you're controlling the shadows a little more for different effects to the image making the shadows sharper or less sharp you can have fresnel based lamps and no diffusion here um, those fresnel lamps could be fresnels that are built into the lamp itself or bowen's mount fresnels like the aperture fresnel um, either one would work here to give you more control of how those shadows actually look when casting through the windows now for this one i'm saying that it could be either the lamps that are actually at the location or you could be using lanterns or space lights yourself that you have put into the scene to help make sure that you have enough exposure in between or to control the image tone by having something like a more of a tungsten cast with the lanterns as opposed to the daylight cast with the lamps that are coming through the windows now lastly i really did want to get that v shape on the ground that we see right here at the bottom of the image so this one uses two lamps per window and the fresnels to control that light so that we get this really cool v pattern across the floor and strobing across the subject's face as they walk through 
the various shafts of light. Now this one will cost a lot more, um, but if you want to do something like this and then have even more control, you could use those lanterns or those space lights once again to actually control the color tone inside um, so that it contrasts with the lamps that are coming from the outside. So these are three different ways you could do this. Like I said, this one is a lot less of a budget solution. Um, and so, you know, just to tickle everyone's fancy, if you really wanted to have it be a budget solution, what you could do is simply shoot during a time of day where the light's just simply coming through those windows. So that would take some location scouting to make sure and some probably some planning for your timing of how to shoot it. Um, definitely show up early to make sure you don't miss it. And you could do this with just the sun and those lanterns that are already in the scene. It's completely possible, but I always like to show different options to show how you can choose these things when you're planning your production so that you can build the type of scene that you need for the story that you're telling. Thank you so much for listening and following along today. If you're interested in making diagrams like this yourself, you can go over to my Patreon and grab my free template for the Drawio software. If you want to learn how to import images and get started with that, I have a video that's linked down in the video description that is a complete how-to, and it goes over how to use Drawio for making lighting diagrams like this one. If you want to support these videos, you can subscribe on Patreon. You can buy individual episodes on Gumroad. You can give me a tip on Kofi or use affiliate links in the video's description that are products that I've described here and would be using myself to make these kinds of scenes. Those help support the channel a lot. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to subscribe if you're interested in more lighting diagrams just like this one and other types of cinematography videos that I'm putting out on this channel pretty much every week. As always, stay safe out there and be kind to somebody today. Thank you.